Hey guys, welcome back to Cruise Keto Vlogs. Do you want to know how to make broths the easy way where you don't have to stand over the stove for a long period of time waiting for that to cook? Well, I'm going to show you how to make vegetable broth the easy way and I'm going to show you how to do it in the Instapot. It's no muss, no fuss, so stick around and I'm going to show you how. Alright guys, welcome back to Cruise Keto Vlogs. So, I'm Sam, if you're new here, and uh, if you're a returning subscriber, hey, welcome back. And today, we're just going to be talking about broths. Now, I like to make broths once a month, so that way I have it on hand for cooking, I have it on hand for sipping, for reboots, or anything like that. So, I love having it on hand. Now, we're not going to be making bone broth today, because I haven't got my bones stacked up enough to where I can make bone broth and plus it takes a lot longer amount of time to do the bone broth than it does to make the vegetable broth so I'm just going to be showing you how to do the vegetable broth today um, you can do this with chicken or beef um, if you do use a meat in your broth it does take a little bit longer amount of time not quite as long as it would for a bone broth because you really want to cook that bone broth for a very long period of time to get all of that collagen out from in the bones so it takes a very very long time but today we're going to be making vegetable broth now what i have here this is a gallon size bag and uh, i just put all of my vegetable pieces in here that i use um, like asparagus, onion, um, bok choy, peppers, um, anything that you would use vegetable wise you could put it in a bag and store this in your refrigerator or excuse me in your freezer and then when it gets full you can just take it out and make you a bone broth. Now I go through one of these a week because we do eat a lot of vegetables in the house so it gets filled up rather quickly so and when it comes to vegetable broths, you don't really have to do much peeling or anything. You just, like onion pieces, just throw them in the bag. Carrots, throw them in the bag. Celery, throw them in the bag. All of the end pieces that you do not eat, put them in the bag, store them in the, fri uh, in the freezer, and just take them out when the bag gets full, and you will be ready to make your broth. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to just talk you through this, and uh, it's very uh, easy. You don't have to do much work at all, but we are going to be using the Instapot. And this takes a lot of time off. You don't have to sit and wait. There's no muss, no fuss, and it's great. I love doing this in the Instapot. So, what you're going to do is start off with an empty pot. There's a absolutely nothing in here and you're just going to take your vegetables now like I said there's asparagus in here there's onions there's bell pepper there's bok choy any kind of vegetables that you want throw them in the freezer pull them out when you need it just take this and pour this all in your bag now uh, in your instapot keep your bag okay because this is what you're going to fill up with vegetables now to this what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with water now when you fill this up with water you're going to want to stop right before it touches the top of your vegetables so just pour that in and as you can see here it's just right at the tip of the vegetables this is what you're going to do. You're going to put your lid on, set it to seal, and you're going to do a slow cook for three hours. So, just do a slow cook and go down to three hours. And this will automatically come on and you're set. You don't have to do anything else. All of the Instapot is going to do all of the work for you. 
it's going to beep, it's going to come up to pressure, and it's going to start counting down your three hours. And that's all you got to do. Very, very easy. All right, guys. So now it's come up to pressure. It's starting to count down the three-hour mark. So we're just going to let this hang out, do its thing, and we'll be back in just a little bit, which will just be a few seconds for you guys. So let's wait for it. Okay, guys, it's been about four hours. Um, it cooked for the three hours, and then I got busy cooking dinner, and then I had dinner, so I just let it sit for another hour, 10, hour, 15 minutes. Um, but now, what we're going to do is we're going to strain this. Now, I take out a majority of the vegetables just so it makes it a little bit easier to strain. You don't have to do this. You can just strain it all one time and be done with it. But I'm going to take out a little bit of this. We're just going to set that aside. And now we're just going to strain this, so be careful when you take this out. It's very hot. So, grab you some pot holders and give this a strain. But, and now you've got some delicious vegetable soup. At this point in time, you can go ahead and add salt to this. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of mineral salt. This is a pink Himalayan salt, and I'm just going to add this. You can always add more later if it's not, you know, salty enough for you. So just add in a little bit of salt because you've got to remember we did not salt this to begin with. Just give this a stir to dissolve all that salt. Now what you can do is you can store this in jars. This is just one I've got labeled honey because um, my husband likes honey in his tea. So we're just going to fill these up. Now keep in mind when you fill these up, they're very hot right now. But if you store these in the freezer, make sure you leave enough room for them to expand because it will expand when it freezes. But I'm going to be drinking these over the next few days for a reboot. So I'm just going to let these cool down on the counter, put them in the refrigerator so that way I can have them on hand when I need them. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope this video helped you out a little bit on learning how to make broths in your Instapot. So, that's going to be it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that little red subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And tick that little notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.